Hi, my name is Sam and this is another tutorial on Aviso 8.1 about how to use basic animations in Aviso, including ortho slices. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click open data and we're going to tutorials and then we're going to go to motor. And we're also going to open motor.labels and we want the Aviso surface one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to click surface view. And what we want is we want this surface view mm -hmm. to not have the exterior exterior. So we're going to go to all and we're going to go to three. And that selects this area which we don't want. And then we're just going to click remove. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another surface view. And this one has everything. And we're going to change the draw style from shaded to transparent. So you can see it like that. The next thing we want to do is we're going to create an ortho slice right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to make this volume or the surface view be clipped by the ortho slice. We're going to then we're going to click clip using ortho slice and clip using ortho slice. So notice how it pops up right here, and you can turn this on or off. So we want this to be turned on for both of these right now. So, so now it's clipped off like that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to use ortho slice and we're going to go to this ortho slice and move it to all the way to slice zero. And once we move it to slice zero and you're at the zero timetable, just go and click on this slice number. So once we have this, this now we've set this when it's right here, it will be at slice zero. We can then go to slice 127, and in th four, three seconds, we want it to be at slice 127. So we just click slice number again. So this sometimes happens. It goes, you can't move it once. So there. So now well, look what happens. So now this moves up for four se three seconds. So you can notice how there's this blue area right here. That shows there's a transition in between them of like from 0 to 127. And you can drag them both together by highlighting this area by just putting your mouse over it. Or you can drag them separately by just selecting one. Or going to make it the surface view stop being clipped by the ortho. When we're done with this, now we're going to make these stop being clicked by ortho slices. So what we're going to do is we're going to click plus, we're going to add a keyframe here, and we're going to add a keyframe here. Then we're going to set these keyframes to off. So now it won't, so now if, let's say we move this right here, it won't clip it. It's just there. Okay. So when it's right here, we're going to be done with the ortho slice for a good amount of time. So let's first. So we're going we're going to be done with the ortho slice for a while here. So we're first going to make it disappear. So to make something disappear, you can just go right here, and it will visibility and viewer is what you want, and you just want to turn this visibility to zero. So you want to make sure this is, you want this to be off and right here for it to be on. Okay. So now go to surface view two, the one with the transparent part and move this all the way to zero. And then we can, we're going to keyframe this here. Okay. So now we're at, so we want this entire thing to be at position zero, and then we're going to move it two more seconds, or let's say just one more second, and we're going to move the space trans all the way up to 0.8, and we're going to keyframe it again. So now what this will do from four to five, it'll make this outer exterior layer vanish. 
so we can see the insides and just barely see the outsides. See? The next thing we can do with orthoslices, so you know how we made the volume in the surface view appear with an ortho slice? We can also, if we turn off these, we can make this we can make a volume rendering appear too. So there are two ways we can use to make the volume rendering appear. One with the ortho slice. The how you do it with an ortho slice is you just if it's connected and you just have this like this, it will automatically slice it. See? And you can just manipulate the slice number fairly easily. So for then one another way you can do this is if you turn off ortho slice and just move it back here. You can use volume rendering and you can make the you can basically add time values to any setting. So we're going to use this color map setting and change the time value. So right now, right here, we're going to make it we're going to make it fade in, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're maybe going to find it where it just fades out completely. Like right there. Make sure this is still at 255, to be clear. And this is at 250. 255. So there's literally nothing there. Then we're going to click on min. So we basically set this min to 255 for this entire time. And now, in two seconds, we want this min to be a more reasonable 30. See how it's like this? And we want to keyframe that. So now we can fade it in like this, which produces a really cool animation. So what I want you to learn from this is every little setting you can think of, you can basically manipulate. You just need to use these each of these things does a different thing and you can change the drawing style from different things like you can change the drawing style from shaded to something else just outlines lines points transparent so you can really do anything with this you can add and remove stuff using the buffer one or you can change the colors see Okay, so that'll be all for today. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll be back soon with another Aviso, with the next part of this Aviso 8.1 tutorial.